Deep fakes can make it look like people said things they never actually said. AI can impersonate your boss or coworker so convincingly that millions of dollars can vanish before you even realize it, and now even real footage can be dismissed as fake. These are disturbing ways AI could already be altering our reality. Let's imagine for a moment that you're scrolling through your feed when you come across a video of some politician saying something completely insane. And I'm talking insane even by today's standards, because I mean, I know that that's kind of just an everyday thing now, but you know, you look at the video, you pause, you squint, you have to watch it a bunch of times, not sure if what you're looking at is real. Deep fake technology has advanced to the point where AI can generate hyper-realistic videos and audio of anyone, making them appear to say or do things they never actually did. Take for instance, a certain deep fake video of the Ukrainian president that came out during the early days of the conflict. In the video, Zelensky orders his troops to surrender. The clip was shared all over social media and even broadcasted on Ukrainian TV. Now, looking at the video today, it is so obviously fake, but in the few years since it came out, the technology has skyrocketed. And if a video that fake looking can cause panic and confusion, just think of what could happen with how convincing deep fakes are now. And once a deep fake is out there, even if it does get debunked, it plants a seed of doubt. People start questioning the authenticity of other videos even if they are genuine. So let's look at the flip side of the whole deep fake video thing. You can watch a recording that clearly shows someone doing something criminal, and back in the day, video evidence was kind of the best evidence you could get. But it's now getting to the point where someone can just say like, nah, it's AI, it's fake, and suddenly the evidence, it loses all weight. This is what researchers call the liar's dividend. It's already happening. Politicians, celebrities, anyone really can just blame AI, dismissing real footage as a deep fake. And will everyone believe them? No, but enough will. People don't know what to believe anymore. That's the truly scary part. Everything's become so murky and gray these days. You don't even need to create a deep fake. Just the possibility of AI forgery is enough to make people start doubting things. Of course, if you can alter uh, or completely fabricate video, you can do the same with photos. These days, you could take a photo and subtly change it, add someone who wasn't there, remove something, tweak the scene, just enough to make people question what really happened. And our brains often remember the altered version as reality. Say you're looking at a vacation photo where AI has added or removed people. Now you start remembering things differently. A single altered image can really alter our perception of things. AI could be used to rewrite history, erase people from events, or insert them into situations they were never part of. Eventually, we might reach a point where you just can't trust any photo. Now let's shift gears to something a bit more personal. So let's say you're at work. You get a video call from your boss. They urgently need you to approve a financial transaction. It's your boss after all, so you comply. Later though, you find out the call wasn't from your boss. It was a deep fake. That scenario I just outlined is not fictional. In 2024, a finance employee at a Hong Kong company was tricked into transferring over $25 million to fraudsters who'd used AI to create realistic deepfake versions of the company's executives. The scammers carried out a video conference call during which the employee interacted with what appeared to be their CFO and colleagues. It wasn't until the employee contacted the company's head office that it was revealed to be a scam. By then, the money was gone. Ever notice how your social media feed seems to know exactly what you like? The articles, videos, and posts that pop up align perfectly with your interests and your beliefs. That might seem convenient, but there's a cost to this. People are getting trapped in little echo chambers. AI recommendation systems on platforms like Facebook and YouTube analyze your interactions to curate content tailored just for you. This means you're less likely to come across anything that challenges your views. Over time, this can lead to a distorted perception of reality, where you believe your opinion is the only valid one. When you're constantly exposed to content that aligns perfectly with your views, it just becomes harder to consider other perspectives. It keeps you stuck seeing only what you already believe, and suddenly talking to someone with a different opinion feels impossible. This seeps out into your everyday life. Suddenly people who look and dress differently than you, vote differently than you, practice a different religion or none at all, well, 
they're just outright wrong. AI is also starting to write the news. And it's not just technical stuff like weather reports or stock updates, headlines, you know, full articles, even investigative pieces can now be generated by AI. And aside from people getting put out of work, there's another problem here too. AI doesn't understand truth the way humans do. It has no qualms about mixing up facts. And there's always the possibility of glitches which create errors. Millions of readers could read a story without knowing it was written by AI. If the AI makes a mistake, that mistake spreads. If it's heavily biased, that also spreads. And because AI learns from existing content, the more it writes, the more future AI systems gather up all that fake news. It just becomes a total mess. And on top of that, distinguishing between human written news and AI generated news that's getting harder and harder. When you're not sure which sources to trust, the whole concept of reliable journalism just fades away. And I mean, let's face it, it already has. I touched on this a bit, but sometimes AI will just make stuff up. These are called hallucinations, and they happen when an AI confidently states something that just isn't true at all. But it does it while sounding precise and professional, and considering how vast amounts of people in our population will just blindly follow politicians with the charisma and intelligence of a wet paper bag with barely an ounce of professionalism, well, this is pretty alarming. You could ask an AI about a historical event, a health tip, or a news story, and it might just give you details that never existed. And just like that, a hallucination can spread misinformation faster than anything a human could type. And those false details can start to shape how people think. Suddenly, what you think you know about the world might actually be something an AI invented out of thin air. And we all know how hard it is to get public opinion back on track when a lie has been spread and people just choose to follow it. Art. That's always felt like something uniquely human. A painting, a song, a sculpture. The touch of the creator, their emotions, their unique perspective on the world. It's all baked into the work. But AI is changing that and that and saying that out loud just makes me want to tear my hair out. Programs can generate images, music and videos that look and feel like they were made by a real person. All you got to do is type a description and in seconds AI produces something. And all it's really doing is robbing people with actual talent. And there are Instagram pages and YouTube channels entirely generated by AI, run by people who actually have the gall to call themselves artists. I read a perfect YouTube comment once where someone was arguing that AI art is just as genuine and legitimate as actual art. And someone responded with something along the lines of, creating something with AI and calling it yours is like ordering food online and calling yourself a chef. And I mean, I just, I couldn't have said it better myself. And I didn't. It was someone else's comment and I am acknowledging that. Kind of like how people making money with their fake pictures and books or whatever other slop they're churning out should also admit that they're talentless hacks. That leads us into jobs in general though, because it's not just art that's being affected by AI. AI is used to do coding now. People are using AI for therapy. Some kids are probably being homeschooled with AI assistance now. It can do stuff faster, cheaper, and in the case of more technical tasks, sometimes it does them more accurately than humans. But I mean, imagine putting your heart into a career for years only to realize a machine can now do exactly what you've spent years perfecting. Even if your job isn't fully automated yet, AI is taking away a lot of opportunities for people, not just, you know, to follow their passions and hopefully make a career out of it, but to just get a regular degular job and pay the damn bills. And companies can run with less employees because machines, they don't sleep, they don't complain, they don't take days off. AI is being trained to drive trucks, perform customer service. We, we're just cooked if this goes on. I don't know what these folks are thinking at the top, like how is this supposed to help anybody? I mean, has anybody been like yelling off the mountaintops, like I need an AI that can, create a, a dumb picture for me in two seconds or, or make a song. Yeah. I mean, really, can we, how about cancer? Can we tackle that first? Maybe let's get on that. But yeah, I just don't get how this is supposed to help anyone aside from the people in charge of everything running all of this. That's really what it comes down to at the end of the day though, they, they don't care. Now let's finish off with something really creepy. AI generated memories. 
That sound a little too futuristic for you? Well, it isn't. Experimental AI tools are now looking into creating hyper real simulations that feel like actual memories. And the human brain, it's very delicate. It often can't tell the difference between real memories and vivid simulated ones. This is not science fiction. People can be shown a convincing recreation of an event complete with sights and sounds and later swear that it actually happened. If you were shown a VR simulation of a family gathering and felt the emotions that you'd have if it were real, that experience can get stored in your memory mixing in with real experiences. I mean, I've had instances where I thought a dream I had the night before actually happened, and, and dreams are way more surreal and hazy than what a hyper-realistic virtual reality simulation is gonna be able to spit out in the next few years, maybe even now. Well, with all that said, I've been your host, James, and I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.